Meanwhile, the COVID-19 vaccination drive will cater to individuals who are homebound due to age or immobility. Therefore, the Ministry of Health and Wellness will not be administering the vaccine at vaccination sites around the island. Appointments must be made for these individuals at their nearest community wellness center for vaccination at home. The Organization of Eastern Caribbean States OECS Commission hosted the official launch of the 40th anniversary of the OECS, presenting planned activities to commemorate the June 18, 2021 milestone. More from Herma DeMac. The virtual launch included addresses by the heads of the organization, the unveiling of the theme, Onward with Integration for Progress and Sustainability a logo to commemorate the momentous milestone, and a calendar of activities which inculcates the areas of education, youth, theatre and community. Addressing the launch, Prime Minister of Dominica and Chairman of the OECS, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, highlights some of the achievements of the organization since its inception in 1981. The Eastern Caribbean dollar, which for the last 37 years has maintained a fixed and immutable exchange rate with the U.S. dollar and is now the strongest and most stable currency in the Caribbean. The freedom of movement of people that allows the citizens of member states to travel without hindrance or restriction to work, to play, to study, to visit friends or to relocate, to follow carnival or to follow a crusade. With those rights came contingent rights that empower our families to relocate with us and enable our children to attend schools and to obtain scholarships. Also speaking at the launch was Dr. Didacus Jules, Director General of the OECS. He explains the requirements for future success of the organization. Importantly, our heads of government need to maintain a very strong solidarity among themselves. And we've seen this happen every time we have faced a crisis our heads have rallied from the hurricanes to the pandemic. We've seen that solidarity being expressed. Dr. Jules says listening to the needs of the people of member states is critical. It is very important that the OECS communications involve not just sending messages out, but listening to the voices and not just listening in events like this, but also having structured mechanisms for, the, for, for getting feedback, for receiving queries for um, soliciting suggestions and recommendations. And right now we have over 40 virtual working groups involving persons in the private sector, civil society, in government ministries, across different portfolios and sectors, engaging in discussions on different aspects of regional integration. Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, Timothy Antoine, congratulates the OECS on 40 years of exemplary service. At this juncture, the OECS Com Commission and the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank enjoy excellent relations. Our most recent collaboration was in supporting the vaccine rollout in our member countries. So, on behalf of Team ECCB, and on my own behalf, I extend again heartiest congratulations and wish you every success for your next 40 years and beyond. One exciting component of the OECS's 40th anniversary is OECS for Me, a Chakapesh production which will be aired on the 12th and 30th of June on the social media pages of the OECS. From the Government Information Service, Hilma Dimak reporting.